When creating depth of field, the cheapest way is to just do it in comp. Get a Z-Pass, a defocus node and you're all set. But what if you want to have a nice bokeh effect? You could try using the bokeh blur node, but for some reason it just refuses to do what it's supposed to. So we have to turn to the camera settings. Enable depth of field and adjust the f-stop until you like the results. If you have small enough light sources out of focus, we will get the beautiful bokeh effect. But what if we want a custom aperture shape? The camera settings only give us a number of blades and their respective rotation, so we need to take things further. Set the 3D cursor at the pivot of the camera, then add a cube. In edit mode, select the polygon facing in the camera direction and unwrap it to fit the whole UV space. We can scale the rest and place them somewhere in the corner. Now create a material for the cube and make it transparent. Give it a texture and load in an image, just like this one. You can find one in the video description. Now that we have our custom aperture, it's all a matter of getting the right scale for our cube. Here are a few tips. Start really small and scale up until you get the right shape of bokeh. Make sure your camera clipping is really low. Make sure the camera blades are set to zero. If you change the f-stop, you will need to rescale the cube. Subscribe for more videos and once again, thanks for watching.